shit? Like, what if he goes back to jail? Like, what do you think? Well, I think that he should not go, shouldn't go back to jail because, you know, like, the police, they should actually watch what's happening on this video because it's, like, I know the police have went to school and at one time they have had a bully and that's like a bully. So, the police, why would they arrest put him back in jail if if people are always messing with him constantly? I am A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is... Are you serious? That's correct. Um, today we got a special guest, as you can see. Could you please, 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 please tell the people who it is you are. I am Nosha, Rick Charles can call me Yo. That's correct, you can call her Yo. I'm A.O., this is Yo. I'm Yosha Man, this is Yosha Girl. Um, today is a very serious situation. Um, NBA Youngboy got into a, another scuffle as we know he's on probation and shit like that and, and what I, my issue is here is first off I don't like the way that as it was going on the people were hollering world star and they were saying they were calling out world star as if world star was supposed to come like world star hey world star world star and it just it just mocks the climate that we're in right now and Usually I wouldn't do this, but I, I let the, the minor watch the video because I think this is a very good learning tool about how you can really get somebody out of your way if you know that they're emotional. Um, so after watching the tape, whatever like that, what do you think about it? Like, what do you like think about the whole situation and stuff like that? Like, could the, could he have had, like could he have avoided that or was that just like, mm -hmm. or just like well as you know like people are always messing with NBA young boys right. so I think like at school you know how you have a bully on you and they just keep on messing with you and at and what and what at one point in time you just um get tired of it so you just you just don't think about what you're doing and you just start. Um, Swing yeah. them, but, it, but it, how do you? I'm, I'm saying the the way it looks is that a person, whoever did that to him, it, it seems like they have been trying to get him back in jail. So what they wanted was for him to swing on them so that they can get in a fight and young boy can go back to jail. So it's like, did he did he win in that situation? Like, what if he goes back to jail? Like, what do you think? Well, I think that he should not go, shouldn't go back to jail because, you know, like, the police, they should actually watch what's happening on this video because it's, like, I know the police have went to school and at one time they have had a bully and that's like a bully. So, the police, why would they arrest, put him back in jail if, if people are always messing with him constantly? They like, and, that, and that's crazy that you say that because that's a very good point. You would think that police would use their discretion and say, I see that these people have been bullying him and have been trying to get him into a situation, but they don't do that. The way that this system is set up, all they care about is putting a young black man in jail. So... They don't care who and how it happens, but as soon as they get a charge, and that's what probation is. They put you on probation so that you can mess up, so they can put you in jail for a long period of time. And that's just what it is, but you're exactly right. A police officer should see that they're messing with him on purpose, but that's exactly how you trick somebody off the street. Why do you think they keep messing with him? I think... That once you become a big star and you become famous, they they they're just jealous and they want to take everything that you've ever had away from back away from you. Hmm. Why? Why are people like that? Some people they like they grew up and they were probably 
people were probably treating them like that. <clears throat> mm. And they took away everything that they had, and now they they want to um take. They want somebody else to. They, they want somebody to feel their pain. Yeah. <clears throat> that's crazy. That, that's crazy though. So what 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 she's saying obviously is hurt people hurt people. Uh, people. The only people that will be jealous and try to make some bad happen to you is people that have that that are in a bad position, like misery love company. And that's and that's why I feel like if someone is keep messing with you and they keep on trying to make you do something to them and you know that you're gonna get in more trouble than they will, I really feel like you should stay away from those type of people. Like how do you feel about that? Well, yeah, I think you should, like, try to avoid them. But, you know, most people say you should, if people constantly and possibly keep on, like, messing with you and calling you out, mm. you should just, just hit them back. Like, you shouldn't just keep on just letting them push you around. Mm. You should. So, but, you know, when we get older... People pushing you around could lead to somebody dying. Like, how do you feel about that? Yep, that is true. That is true. Because like, well, people don't, people don't, people don't always just want to fight. Usually, when people lose fights nowadays, they come back and kill each other. So, like, what do you think? Well, it's better to go to jail than go back and kill yourself. So. If he had to decide between those, I would just rather him go back to jail than, than um, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You said, you said, why is he going to kill himself? Yeah, why would you kill yourself? Just... No, I'm saying, I'm saying like, okay, so like the, the young boy situation. If young boy, the dude, so the dude is, they keep on picking on young boy or whatever like that. Young boy beats the dude up, whatever, and now once the dude gets beat up, now he comes back with a gun and tries to kill young boy. Then what? It is a mess up situation. It yeah. just, it just, and that's and that's the whole thing. Like it, there's no clean way out of it. And it's like, how do you avoid these situations? How can you make it to where you don't have to make those type of decisions? Like, what do you think? What can he do, like, right now? Because once he gets out of this situation, people are going to continue to try him because they know that he will react to them. So what can he do? Like, what, what should he do? Well, I know it's better to, to, to just stop letting him pick on you, but, but like, you sh he should, um, before they try to pick on him, after he, if he goes to jail, uh -huh. Like, he can avoid it by, like, if, no, the re people just be prepared most of the time. Mm. Like, don't really bring guns or nothing, but be prepared. Because if you're constantly getting pushed around, just be prepared for the next one. I think that sound, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Being prepared could mean a lot of things. It could be... It can mean being mentally prepared or physically prepared. If you have someone that's playing with you like this and you understand that this is what's going to happen at your shows, make it to where I, I've noticed since he got his chain took, whatever like that, I've noticed that now when he gets, when he goes out into the crowd and like you got the thought girls, close your ears right there, close your ears. These thought holes, okay, he's good. Uh, they'll try to like touch his body, whatever like that. But he'll have a security guard blocking his chain. You know what I'm saying? So he'll let the girls touch his body, but they can't touch his chain because the security is behind them. And it looks kind of homo when they do it, whatever like that. But it's just what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to protect it. But if you see these situations always brewing, folks is always trying you, I say get armed security. Period, point blank. And I'm not talking about the play play on security. I'm talking about, like, real deal on security that has a military background that will lay something down so they understand because the people that are playing with him are little kids. Uh, he just had a concert where somebody threw some on stage like they're kids. They're playing around, but they don't understand that these childish games have really adult consequences. 
Jail is not a place for a child. Jail is not a place for a human being. Having to go to jail for three years, one year, 60 days, is inhumane. You know what I'm saying? And you put people in a situation where they have to choose. Because regardless on how I feel about them, whatever like that, the, the bottom line is, in order for him to make money, he has to go to these places. He's going to have to go to these shows in different cities and different states. And this is what's going to happen in every city and every state. They're going to continue to do this. What do you do? Do you just stay in the house and not do no shows? You can't do that. You're going to have to be prepared, as she said. Be prepared. Get ready for it. You see it coming. And I also would say that J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, doesn't have these type of issues. If, if what you're putting out, the music that you're putting out, is all gangsta, gangsta, kill, kill, this is the type of people that you're attracting to your shows. Those people at those shows aren't coming there to enjoy the music. They're coming there to live the music. And what kind of music does NBA Youngboy make? Well, he makes like rap music, but most rap people they in their in their um songs they'll say like they'll be they say they'll be prepared because they say I keep guns on me and stuff. Yeah. But, but when they actually get to the show, they don't have nothing. So. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, you heard she said. You heard she said. Okay, at school, this last year, um, I was getting bullied, and so my teacher she wasn't listening to me, and so I told my friends. And the next time we we got when we were on the playground, we all stood together and stood up to the bully. Mm. So. So it was all me and my friends all standing up for, to the bully because my teacher wasn't listening to me. Mm. So y'all stood as one. So you think that, that and, and first off, NBA Youngboy isn't getting bullied. What I was saying was, as far as the type of music he makes, it's, it's, about, it's about, have you noticed that it's about violence and doing stuff to people? Yeah, like, okay. Like, my, I don't really like my music because... Like they they cuss a lot in it, and then they say they'll kill people, and they say if you run up if they, if people run up on them they'll kill them stuff like that. But but it's not like if you want to make rap music you have to make it real. Like if you never know when a situation like that's gonna come. But you always say it in your song, so why don't you like people like be prepared? Mm. Like, you say it in your song, so you have to live. Live your phone. Oh my God, she's eight years old. She's eight years old. She's eight years old. And 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 I want y'all to understand that these children are not just puddles of soup. They have minds and they think and they take things in. You know what I'm saying? Do you have kids at your school that like rap music that try to that try to be like their favorite rappers? Do they get in trouble a lot? Have you noticed? Have you have you noticed any patterns in the uh, in the kids at school that have a uh, mom and dad, and kids that just have a mom? Like, have you noticed? You probably don't know who has a mom and dad. Like, who who has the worst behavior in school? The, the boy that was bullied last year. And and what what did the bully look like? What 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 color? Is a boy? Black or white? Black. A black boy. That's who we stood up to. You, you and who else? It was me and my, my my cousin and her friend and another girl. It was all girls against. Is it is a little boy? Was he? Let me he, stop. He, he would go around. He he really doesn't have any friends, so I think that's the problem. Like he's mean to everybody, so he doesn't really have friends. I think that's the problem. With him. Hmm. He doesn't really have friends. But the reason he doesn't have friends because he go around and makes people feel bad. Have you, have you ever seen his parents? Does he have a mom and a dad or just a mom? I've never seen his dad. I've only seen his mom. So. You know what I'm saying? 
and this is all I'm saying, man. I really feel like this situation with NBA Youngboy, what's going on is, it lets us know that there's a conversation that needs to be had between the kids and us because NBA Youngboy is not going to change his ways. He's already he's already gone. It's already over with for him. It's like it, it's over with. He's going to be that, and he, he's emotional. He's not going to hear anything that anyone has to say. But with these this generation, we can truly change it to where we don't have these issues anymore. But if we don't, take the time to weed out the emotional boys, then we're going to continue with that womb to prison. Just put that word in there, the P word. The womb to prison pipeline. You understand? Because these children are not being taught how to be anything but inmates. You take their behavior here on the streets and put it in a jail setting and it matches perfectly. They will survive forever. I want to speak to the, uh, the single mothers and say, please take this in and understand it doesn't matter how how well you think you're doing with that, that boy child, he may be going to school with all kind of different emotions because of what you're putting him through. Put that child first. Put that phone down. Understand that child. Talk to that child. Because he may not be able to defeat Mentally defeat the people that are trying to trick him off the streets when it comes time for him to think first. He might just pick up a gun because he don't know what else to do.